Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and this is the end of the Road to Ronaldo series. Yes, in its name. Just the name is going to be gone. The Road to Glory will continue on my channel, even though I didn't post an episode for quite a long time, guys. Trust me, I am working really hard to come back with a huge bang with Team of the Season around the corner in six days. Team of the Season will be starting and at that point, I'm ready for everything. But guys, if you have enjoyed Road to Ronaldo's at any point throughout this series, now is the time to give it a, give it a nice little send off. Put your heart into, uh, put your heart into? Yeah, put hearts into the chat if you want, into the comments if you want to, but hit the like button that'd be much appreciated mix it up with twitch there for a second but um as you can see we're currently in top 100 in squad, squad battles i still have four matches remaining and i'm already in top 100 which is a nice thing to see we are stacking up on packs we are getting ready for team of the season and as you can see right here guys we have loads and loads of good packs i mean these first two are not amazing but then we're starting off with 250k packs two 100k packs one 125k pack and then a couple of packs from SBCs. I'm hoping that until team of the season comes out, until it comes out like the most consistent one, I will have at least 20 packs ready. But I've heard that after team of the season most consistent, there will be the BPL team of the season. And I think that is going to be the one where we open all of our packs for the road to glory. I think that will be the most important one to open for because all those cards will be going for a lot of coins and I think we can make the most profit right there. But as I told you at the start of this episode, this is the last episode of Road to Ronaldo's, guys. You have seen both Ronaldo's in our team. We have achieved the whole objective of this series. And for it not to go stale, we have to change the objective of this series from going for uh, both Ronaldo's to going for the best team possible. The best team I can possibly get and the best team that can possibly get my best finish in Weekend League as well. Now, obviously, Weekend League is not that huge anymore at this point of the year, but World Cup mode is around the corner. Maybe we will need an, a lot of coins for World Cup mode as well, so I can't wait to get into that one. Hopefully, we'll be prepared for everything. But this is a team that I'm currently using. And we have a lot of familiar names in this one. De Bruyne has made it back into my starting lineup. This guy is pushing his 1,000 games in the future. But uh, Firmino is in there. We have um, Son, the left forward. And then we have uh, Sissoko, Fernandinho, Fabinho, Marcal, and also Marcelo, who is an absolute monster. And I cannot wait to, uh, for him to get a team of the season. I think he might be getting one. And his team of the season will be a very, very good one. I think he might move up to like 74 XL acceleration um 85 sprint speed something like that and then with a shadow added to it he will be a complete monster i genuinely love his center back card so that is something that i'll be looking forward to seeing in team of the season and then at the back we have the same ones as always uh valencia uh, aspiriqueta and david de Gea. now on the bench you can see a couple of changes um actually yeah two changes we got Baldedia, which you know about already, but we have the player of the year, Sessegnon. He is a monster. If this guy had four-star skills and four-star weak foot, he would be worth so, so much more. But he is a three-star three -star player, which is okay. 30 games played, 20 goals, 11 assists. Played, a, played like 10 foot champions games with him as well. But keep in mind, he's always my super sub. He never starts off in the starting lineup. So as a super sub, those stats look amazing and most of them are coming from squad battles uh, he is my savior in the late minutes because he has 97 composure when he's up against the goalkeeper in the late minutes he scores that's the good thing about this card now moving on over to the right hand side here i told you guys for the foot swap deals i would only go for two two players Balde Diao, Keita, and Pae. the rest i don't really care about but i think i will have two foot swap cards that i can then use for a card that i want to i will probably go ahead and get myself um either two packs or I'm going for basically the Henderson that is still left there on two. I don't think Vendel will be a good one. I mean, he's a Brazilian left back. I, I might give him a try, but I think Jordan Henderson would probably be the smarter choice in between those two because he is the higher rated one and he could be used for some SBCs. Or I could just get myself two premium gold packs, which would be working out as well, I guess. I'm, I'm not too sure. Or we can use three cards and get ourselves a rare gold pack. The 12th card hasn't been announced yet. Hopefully, 
it's not in the marquee matchups. If it's not in the marquee matchups, I will get it and get myself a rare gold pack, which I guess would be more worth more than a Jordan Henderson or a Vendel. After all, we could be packing the team of the season from that one. And I guess I'm going with the chances of packing one. So we have four games left right here. And I'm hoping, what I'm hoping for is to get around 12,000 points from this next set as well, which would put us right up there with these guys who are in the first and second position. My goal is though to get into the top 10 or top 20, one of those two. And I'm very happy because top 10, that's what I got last week. I got myself the ultimate pack and two rare players pack and a lot of coins as well, which is very nice to see. And the same goes for top 20. It's only a 100k pack pack instead of 125k pack but still that will be huge for our club i'm currently stacking up all the players that i have in my club i'm stacking up all the coins that i can possibly get all the packs that i can get i'm just getting ready for team of the season in the best possible way so we are keeping all of the players that i'm packing currently players like Sule, Fekir, Rilian have kept all of these boys just for uh, the team of the season SBCs. I genuinely believe there will be team of the season SBCs and I cannot wait to uh, do some of them. If we do not pack someone big already from our packs, we will go for the team of the season SBCs and hope for the best. But um, this is my club right now. I have a lot of uh, rare gold players. I guess I have around 10 pages if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have around 10 pages of gold cards, including non-rares as well. Uh, we are looking good. We are looking very, very good. We have a great coin amount right now. Our team is worth around 750k. So we will be above 3 million for sure when team of the season comes out. Now, you guys need to let me know in the top right corner, for which team of the season should I be opening my packs? Do you want it to be for the most consistent, which is coming out first? Do you want it to be for the BPL, which is apparently coming out as the second one? Or do you want me to wait until La Liga, which is uh, the last one, I guess, before the whole complete team of the season, every single card will be in packs? I guess that happened every year so far, where after La Liga, they put every single uh, good team of the season card into one uh, group and you can then go ahead and pack those. So that could be a possibility as well. That will be the fourth option. Let me know in the top right corner. But then again, we'd kind of miss out on all the good action with team of the season cards. But also we could just buy a lot of them and use them until we open our packs for the best team of the season at the end. So let me know guys what you think about that idea. Do you think we should go for BPL, which could be the most profitable? Let me know. And by the way, obviously, I'm wearing the Germany kit right now. I, this is like one of my favorite, favorite Germany kits ever. Um, this is the one that which we won the World Cup with, which I'm very happy with, obviously. The World Cup is right around the corner. I cannot wait for it to happen, man. Let me know in the comments down below which country you will be supporting in the World Cup. I'm very interested in your guys' opinion. I personally think, uh, obviously, I'm hoping that Germany can win it again. But um, Brazil and France are looking quite strong, in my opinion. And uh, if they get into uh, the further stages, anything can happen. But Spain has been playing some really good football in their friendly matches lately. So maybe they might make a comeback and try to go for the trophy again. In Foot Champions, I have streamed 10 games yesterday. And as you can see right here, we've gotten eight victories out of the first 10, which I'm very happy with uh, because I obviously don't have the best team ever, but my team is good enough. It is meta enough to go ahead and get the victories for me in the end. But obviously the first 10 to 20 games are easier than the rest. Uh, the last 20 games are always kind of aids but let's take a look at this right here i already have 59 victories um uh this month we are probably i don't know if i'm going for elite three guys i'm not 100 sure because i want to make sure that every week i play squad battles so i can stack up these packs which are better than the packs that i can usually get in um my uh weekend league finishes and also we get a lot of coins from those and i don't think it would be worth to go after a huge uh, reward in like elite three because in elite three let's say i make it into elite three let's say i play every single weekend and i make it into elite two because that is definitely a possibility for me i only need to win 26 games on average and so far i've, I've made it to at least 25 every time um let's say i make it into elite two I get 15 red, red cards. Let me just tell you guys which cards are currently the best ones you can possibly get in your Foot Champions monthly rewards. You can get Dybala, you can get Lewandowski, Eriksen, Pogba, Aubameyang. Those are the ones that are currently over the 90 rating. Now here's the deal. 
all of those cards that I just named will have a team in a season. So at that point, those cards are pointless because they're not pointless. I mean, they are still great cards, but again, team in a season, there will be a lot of cheap options of players who are going to be incredible, who can stack up to the same stats as these guys. And they themselves will also have a team in a season cards apart from Pogba and Aubameyang. The first three, probably Dybala, Lewandowski and Eriksen. But then if you go down the list, let's say our luck continues the same way it has been in the past. We haven't gotten anyone above 86 on our elite monthly rewards. 86 was Birki. That was like the um, two months ago. And then last month we got 85 Keita. So our pack luck with the monthlies hasn't been good. Let's say we pack anyone below the rating of 87. Anyone I pack there, I will probably not use because they will have either team of season versions or they will have uh, some cards on the market which are just as good as those cards. So I'm thinking, is it worth the stress of trying to go for elite monthlies? I genuinely don't believe so, guys. So I will probably only go for gold one this month um, because I want to focus on squad battles and focus on getting those packs into our club to open them for team of the season where we will be making the most profit possible. So I think that is the right thing to do. Let me know in the comments down below if I should actually stress out about weekend league and squad battles at the same time and try to get elite two or if I can chill out and just get myself gold one, enjoy some FIFA on squad battles, stream it and and uh, basically, yeah, get some good cards during Team of the Season. Guys, you know what? Even though we have changed the name of the series now after this episode, there is one player that I see in a lot of people's teams and in a lot of people's streams and videos who play for champions, like, religiously. Really, really good players. I've seen them play and just one player stands out for me every single time they play and I'm genuinely thinking about doing this to fulfill one of my own dreams. Even though we will change the name of the series, I still think getting that Ronaldo SBC done, this 96 Ronaldo is so good. I, I am so interested in doing this SBC at some point because if I take a look at his price right now, uh, Ronaldo goes for 2.86 million. That is currently, is that his, is that his lowest price ever? Not, not really, but with team of the season, I genuinely do believe that this Ronaldo's price could crash down even more for the SBC. Uh, it could go down to like 2.5 million, I'm hoping. And that is an amount that I can put up. That is an amount that I can get to basically bring this card into my team. Or I get really lucky with my team of the season packs. And I go ahead and buy him for probably around 3.8 million. Currently he goes for 4 million. I guess you could drop down even more with a team of the season around the corner. But man, I just want to use this card so bad. Even though it's not called Rotor Ronaldo's, I still believe that that would be an amazing card to use and it would fulfill one of my dreams. Now, I loved Ronaldo back in the day, but I loved this guy even more. So I kind of will have to make a choice in between these two, depending on how successful our Team of the Season packs have been. If we are not moving above like 3.5 million, I don't think doing this Ronaldo SPC would be worth it, but uh, Ronaldinho, as far as I know, he does go for a little bit lower than that. Probably a lot lower than that, to be honest. But um, still, he's an amazing card. So he goes for 2.36 million. His SPC is worth that amount at this time. He could go down to like 2.1 million with uh, Team of the Season. And uh, then uh, he, he would be... A card that brings the fun into the gameplay. Every time I used him on foot draft, it was just so fun. His dribbling, his shooting, his skills, his physicals are so, so good. And compared with this one, obviously, he's not the best finisher, but still he has 90 shot power. So you can definitely use him as a striker, but I think he would be a beast in the cam position. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm getting into that range of thinking about bringing one of these two into my team. It all depends on the success that we will have with Team of the Season. And just for that, I will be grinding out every single game I possibly can in squad battles. And then also playing as much Weekend League as I have time for it. So yeah, wish me luck, man. A lot of things will be changing in this series. But trust me, at the end of this series, we will have 
an incredible squad that was worth grinding for throughout the whole year and it will be so much fun to use them hopefully the world cup mode brings in a lot of new things into this series and yeah man that is going to be it there is no um there's no freaking gameplay in this one because i don't think you guys want to watch me play squad battles and i'm keeping my weekend league games for the stream right now I don't want to hop in there without being able to talk to people on Rage while I am playing. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is basically a goodbye episode to the series in the name of Road to Ronaldo. So if you have um, ideas, let me know in the comments down below how we should rename the series. But I'm currently trying to get someone to uh, do the thumbnail for me. Yeah, I can't wait to start off again when team of the season comes around, boys. Um, we will have a big new start to our Road to Ronaldo series or on our, to our Road to Glory series. With a lot of packs, a lot of coins, and hopefully some really, really good pulls. Take care, boys. See you next time with the start of the Road to Glory. Take care. Peace.